What up, guys? It's your boy Kimbo here, and I don't know why it took me so long to say this, but uh, yeah. Um, first things first. Before this starts, uh, Merry Christmas. You know, I just thought about like the videos going out like probably around Christmas. You know, I'm recording this on like Christmas Eve, really early Christmas Eve, but it's probably gonna be out on Christmas. So yeah, Merry Christmas. Hope you guys got some great gifts, and also I know a lot of you guys are gonna probably be getting a lot of gifts in the form of Bakugan um, once January 1st hits for sure. So yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy this video. Got my poofy hair, but yeah, what's go? <laughs> if I don't get tongue twisted, what's going on, guys? It is your boy Kimbo here, and basically, it's time for the next part of this epic, epic journey to LA. So yeah, um, I got so much footage from the second day that I literally had to split it up into two parts. You saw the first part. If you haven't seen like the first parts of this, go and check them out for sure. Uh, but yeah, so it's gonna be four parts total, you know, so basically the day when I flew in and then uh, the first half of the second day and then the second half of the second day, which is gonna be in this video and then the next day, which is actually the tournament and such, you know, but yeah, it was a really, really crazy day. The second day was like, you know, I just got to go in the spin masters headquarters. Um, they showed us a lot of stuff there, you know, like we got to see like previews for the show, you know, I see the first episode being out now, but like we saw a lot of previews for the show. We got to go into like the deep, deep heart of Spin Master and actually see like the Bakugan from old series. They had a big display for them. And then also the products for this new series, explaining everything for it and also seeing what's going to be going on shelves. Um, on January 1st. So a lot of hype, dude. But yeah, also, um, I know I haven't said this like... Yeah, Merry Christmas. Yeah, I can't believe it took me so long to say Merry Christmas, but yeah. Anyways, it was crazy going literally into the heart of Spin Master, seeing a big wall of the Bakugan of the old generation, them explaining the new generation and such, showing off the products that are going to be coming out on shelves on January 1st. It was just nuts, dude. There's a lot of stuff coming out. Um, it's just the first wave, too, like the first wave of stuff that they're putting out. Just absolutely insane. I can't wait to see like what the second, third, fourth, you know, like all the rest of the waves after this are going to look like. But the first wave is huge. It's crazy, dude. But yeah, anyways, let's get into the footage because I know you guys are waiting for that because I know you're probably really hype after like the first part I put out. Well, second part, you know, like I said, go and check them out. Got the first part when I flew in, second part when, you know, first half of the second day and now this part. So it's going to be really awesome, dude. Uh, still so much stuff that they're telling us about this, but <laughs> yeah, I'll let you guys watch and see for yourself. Let's get into it. This was nuts. What? Yeah, don't get too excited yet because, you know, this is the only sample we have here, but you guys will get shipped this Toy Fair exclusive for 2019. Mm -hmm. um, Mikey's going to show you the design. Yeah. 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 So, these, these photos that AJ is showing are still fresh, fresh off the uh, email chain. So, these are still being finalized, made, and developed in, in, right now as we speak. So, what I have in front of me is the initial prototype. So, we have... The is that these Baku cores will be in an, in an exclusive foil execution. Oh, what? So they're going to be all nice and shiny. And then the uh, two Dragonoid cards, so that Dragonoid Ultra and that Dragonoid card, will be in full Hollow Hex Bakugan Elite execution with all the exclusive foilage. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Wow. So toy, not available anywhere. Cards, not available right. anywhere. And this is except exclusive. in this exclusive. Yeah. Right. Cool. This is an exclusive Edge Glow, really vibrant uh, molded execution here. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Is the, the foil Baku cores, is that going to be something that's going to be sort of like a rare later on, or is it just for like this? That's that's just for this right now. Wow. It's only for this. So that's the Apparently only place you can get it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, wow. and it's, it, we just weren't so stoked just you guys are something. here, and we want to make sure that we're not just giving you stuff that you can buy in two weeks. Like, we want you guys to have special stuff that uh, really is kind of a big thank you from us. So, um, so that's almost it for us. I'm going to show you just to crank. With bigger battles and bigger battles <laughs> like you've never seen before. Incredible jumping action, boulder transformations, Metal Baku Core unleashed the Baku Gon's power. With hundreds of Baku Gon to collect in battle, will you enter the call to brawl? Collect, battle, win. Are you ready to roll? Tillman, hit it. Woo! No, 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 Jay, do your thing. Oh, Baku, I'm wrong. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. yeah. <laughs> oh, I yell usually. I forgot. I haven't you, knew, you knew your line. You just on trading card number one and curtain number two. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. You need someone that's strong or? 
No, you want to keep it? <laughs> Is everyone getting this? Yes! Oh. Whoa. Whoa! All right. So this is the full line of Bakugan for uh, the relaunch in 2019. You've got your core Bakugan, your ultra Bakugan, classic starter pack with three Bakugan, everything you need to play that toy battling game. We've got trading card pre-constructed decks, uh, packs. We've also got collector packs over there with the giant foil cards, arenas to battle, everything you need here, guys. This is, this is the launch line for Bakugan. And then on the other side, the other side, there's more, more. There's more. <laughs> what? <laughs> much, much more gracefully. Alright, here we go. Ah! <laughs> wow. Just a good look at the entire line right there. That way, if you can get yeah. up close, you can see a lot of the bucket gun that are actually out of pack and get kind of good, good shots of those. But, uh, guys, uh, give a round of applause to AJ and Mikey for that. Killer preservation. Yeah. 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 yeah, so to, if you want to, um, if all of you can stay and take as is this the entire lineup for 2019, or is it like the Spring first wave? Lunch lineup. I said lunch lineup. There lunch are lineup. more okay. exciting things happening as well. Wow. Uh, so we're, wave is we're just seeing like not the not first every bits. Figure from Correct. Every wave. So this is production. Yeah. So they, you know, only the first couple waves. So the we'll see this on shelves. Uh, you'll see this on shelves in January. Wow. wow. This is just what a launch. Yes, this is just starting shelves. stuff, yeah. dude. This isn't even this everything. Is all, all, um, That's crazy. Yeah. They said we can touch it, right? We can we do it? Yeah. They said, oh yeah. my goodness. Uh -huh. What? Check this out. Yeah. This is awesome. Chaos Nilius. Yeah. This, this box art, dude. So this is crazy. Arliss Howlcore. Howlcore is like the coolest one in my opinion. Honestly, Those like just looking though. at it, him and Pegatrix are like probably yeah. the Howlcore looks so cool, dude. This is crazy. That's cool too how like the core is more like reminiscent of like the previous generation. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Wow. This Mantanoid. This oh, is... yeah. This, I, I freak, I, luckily for me, I love Mantis. Yeah. So this is great. Mantanoid. And it's darkest. And, and it's darkest. Mm. I love the colors, dude. The black, the purple, the green. Just so sick. The Dragonoid. Like, you can actually play with it. I was literally, I literally said that. There you go. Like the moment I saw this guy, I'm like, this is what I'm gonna be doing like half the time during my classes. Right. <laughs> okay, let hang on. Can you take this? I'm gonna see Absolutely, if, yeah. I'm gonna see if I can I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to close it up. Oh man, this is a lot more Okay. I'll give you a hint. There's a double fold in the in the in the, in the arms first. Okay. You gotta get them onto his shoulder. <laughs> so like fold it that way. Yeah, there you go. Now you're good. Oh man. It. Yeah. And he does like a little crunch. And hold the head in. If you're not hype, you better you better be. <laughs> Dang it! I think I, I think I. Yeah, you're it. you're almost there. I, I love it. <laughs> I don't want to break it. This don't worry. So don't surreal. worry. They're toy. It's yeah. amazing. So this is the stuff that's gonna be coming out, guys. Like the beginning of 2019. This is just the starting stuff. Like this isn't even everything. This is the for, like the initial launch. That is in. Insane. Wait, look at look at this, dude. Whoa! Go for it. You want me to hold that? I'm happy to hold. Okay, go on. Go for it. What? Oh my god. Holy cow! <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm freaking out. <laughs> you want one? I'm, pa I'm passing it out. Oh, I'm opening oh, it. Oh, oh, packs, oh, 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 Pandox Punch? Pandox Punch. You got Pandox Punch. We got Shine. We have Cease Outsiders. We have Turn to Energy. We have Ventus Moonbeam. We have a Counter Aquas flip card. Oh. Titan Fangzor with the raised, raised uh, embossed title. Yeah. Does it does, does the does it show up on? Yeah, you, I'm getting I'm getting that. Yeah. Oh. Got a hyper. What's this? This is an Evo card. This is. Right. Oh, you actually have a. You, yeah. Take your mantle. That works really well. oh, man. So, explain to me the uh, the uh, the the nomenclature here. So, so yeah, R A. So, on the, on, so so that would be rare. Okay. And so we have. So it's common, I believe. That's common. And so common. Okay. And then there's. Then. 
We have super rare. That's right. That's a super rare mag. Oh, how, how adorable. It looks, I do like that copper. Oh, it's not raised. It's, it's not raised. So this is just the gold stamp. And then the, oh, so the first, hex, the, it has the hex nomenclature right there. Right, so that's, yep. And then this is our, in, in this symbol here is for our first set. Ah, okay. So you're going to have like a, like first what edition. Magic does for every single set. It's going to have one of those. icon. Gotcha. Cool stuff? Yes. So cool. <laughs> How much got is grown for like the older generation? While you guys have been here, we've been putting product out in the room. So uh, if you go back, oh, that was good. Grounds come so far. Titanium uh, dragon. Right? Those, those doors that are now open, they have something like these uh, developed to this. So wild. Over there yet. This is nuts, dude. Pegatrix, Arliss, Dragonoid, oh my gosh, dude. Literally, all the stuff for the initial release. This is just the initial release stuff, dude. There's so many products. Diamond Dragonoid. If you find a diamond in stores, pick it up because diamonds are rare. Of course, hence, hence the name Diamond. <laughs> Even like the past generation uh, Bakugan. Like, look at this. This wall is surreal. To think it's grown so much from the first initial launch to this. I think Michael was showing the Wow. It's a classic Michael Lee. Yo. Darkest Howl Corp. This is one of my favorites already. Look at this. Three heads. Obviously, the Cerberus. The Darkest. I'm, I'm a Darkest brawler, hands down. <laughs> I love Pyrus too, but like Darkest is my favorite. Always has been and always will be. <laughs> Dude. So much stuff. Yo, the wait, wait. Bakugan Ultra are actually kind of hard to put back together. They wanted to put a lot of detail in it, and they <laughs> got their way. There we go. That took forever. That's crazy. And the springs are like way tighter. Yeah. So like, you want to try? Oh, give it a shot. Let's try it. Uh, do you want to try this one, or let's try a? Let's have you do like Max Guitar and really. I'll try. I'm gonna try. So I'll hold the camera for you okay. if you want. And could... Hopefully, it doesn't. Good job. It should. How for? Dude, wow, these springs are way tighter. Right? He's trying to figure out how to put it together. Okay. Which tricky? This one is tricky. They put. They wanted a lot of detail in it. They got their wish. Even the what is it? It's so like intricate. Oh yeah. And the springs, man. The springs are. Yeah. I'm guessing you fold that in, you fold that up, you fold that back. Oh, I almost had it. I'm so close, I feel like. It took me forever to just close Pandox. Yeah, these, just all the details in it, dude. It makes even like the old. It's kind of like uh, whenever you didn't know how burst worked at first, so you're yeah. trying to like put that together for the first little bit. Yeah. It's like once we really get into the products, yeah, we're we'll gonna go. It's gonna be like super quick. I feel like I'm so close, but so far away at the same time. All right, now push like the tail in or something like that. Oh, he's got it. I think I got it. I think so. That's it. Ooh. Yeah, and there we go. <laughs> wow. They're definitely a lot harder to, to put back together than I expected you, them to be. You, what's so, amazing though? The detail though. Is that... Sure. Yeah. Okay, so these Big time geek moment. Oh, okay. oh my <laughs> lord. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Titanium uh, dragon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> jumbo <laughs> Clear Luma ground. This, yeah. yeah. There's five pack arts. Uh, I can't even talk right yeah. now. This is so yeah. surreal. So there's included in this. There's five character cards and five ability cards. So Baku storage. There's two Baku cores in it. It includes a Dragonoid. 
Yes. Okay. You'll find it. Make a right, make a right, make a left. Wow. Dude, like, I just want, I just want these. Like, I just want to take them home with me. I want to just be like, I have money in my wallet. I will buy some right now. <laughs> oh my lord. The case is crazy. The toys were it like the thing. Correct. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's correct. I just and saw that. Right? Like, like, and they'll toys? actually, yeah. Like, this yeah. is so amazing, guys. <laughs> I'm getting as much footage as I possibly can so I can show you this. So you guys get hyped because I'm, I'm hyped. I'm still shaking that I'm even here. <laughs> like, holy crap. Uh, I'm going to say this. I will say this right now. Probably my favorite. It is, yeah, I like Nelius a lot. Like, look at that design too. How Core Ultra I think is my favorite. Just crazy. Yeah, this is this is what it looks like completely open, dude. <laughs> It's crazy. Look at this. Yeah. How core ultra darkest. Let's say this is my favorite. Look at the detail in this. The three heads. I, I'm, I'm a sucker for like the Cerberus look. Like I really like Hades. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Got some sets. Got some ultra cards too. Like these huge, huge cards. Cool. So awesome. It kind of reminds me of that, what was it, Cross? Remember that game where like you would shoot like the, uh, that's what we the play ball fire? The ball fire, fire. yeah, exactly. you feel like that. that's what it would feel like. But no, I really like, when I saw like, oh, you have like the arena for it. You have like the collection for it. You can take out the storage case to hold your cards, buy the cards. Ball. Oh, it does hold the cards. Yeah, so okay. it has a slot for your Baku cards, yeah. trading cards. Uh, that's yeah, like, really cool. So everything's compartmentalized, right? Like, how everything is meticulously like, there's a reason why everything is in this way. Yeah, that's great. Kind of that really just shows like after we get all this reviews, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. I literally saw yeah. it. Right. Yeah, when you see on the shelf right now, it's just like the first thing. So do like, so y'all already know? Like, like, staged it up for the quarters and stuff. We're ready for it. Yeah, exactly. So we gotta be ahead. So this is probably already playing out for a while. Then, like, all these probably. Like what? We've been working on this for three years. Three years out. Just because you see. Yeah. Making sure that entertainment is, is yep. in line with what we're yeah. doing for toy. Yeah. Making sure that we have a great yeah. package, yeah. that shoulder shop experience, right? Making yeah. sure that what the uh, consumers get on at stores yeah. is what they see on the show, vice versa, right? And speaking of the show, so when you were like you came up with like the designs and stuff for them, so we have a uh, Spin Master Entertainment team in okay. Toronto that actually leads the entertainment portion. Of it. So it's a very Bakunan's a very collaborative brand. Like, it's not one person creating one thing. It's very collaborative. It's like, yeah. hey, toy, these are the mechanisms that we're coming up with. Yeah. What do you guys think would make cool uh, characters to the show? Vice versa. Yeah. Then we'll have brainstorms. Like, oh yeah, this Mantis character. Would be amazing. Yeah. Oh, here's our proposal for a toy mechanism. Oh, we could see that how that could look in the show. And then, okay. sort of, it's a bouncing board, right? Of yeah. Ideas, and then that culminates to this here. And we have counterparts in Toronto, Japan, our development team in China and Hong Kong. Did you, did you say uh, Toy Animation is the one that does the uh, no, our Spin Master. Uh, we have our own in-house uh, entertainment. Really? Oh, the, for the anime. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. Who's heading it? But we're uh, working with. The animation house in Japan to create okay. the show, mm -hmm. but it's being headed by our entertainment team. Yeah. 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 Nice. Cool. Thanks for explaining that. So it's a very multifaceted brand. It's not just us creating cool toys. It's the melding of all the moving parts of the brand, and there are a lot of moving parts of the spread. As you can see, that's cool. Like a start forty card deck. So this is yeah. So the starter deck is the entry item. Like a, like I have to play the trading card version of the game. Okay. So yeah, well, I forgot to mention. Oh, 40 card deck is the deck size. Whoever the most Yeah, so this has your 40 card deck, your three Baku Dawn, all the Baku Basically, it just comes with everything you need to get started. Open this and you can play the trading card game right out of the box. Cool. Obviously, the deck, you can keep customizing it and, mm -hmm. and, and you know, make it more powerful, right? Right. Yeah. So yeah, down here, these are all the trading cards so you saw that, that's the, uh, the uh, trading card oh, the, 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 the
Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
is kind of like, I guess in a way, Pokemon Semi does that with the reverse holographic cards. Exactly. You get like one per pack, so they kind of picked up on that a little while back, and so that's great that y'all do that for Ghost of Worlds. Exactly. So, yeah, and that's the thing I like about the whole hex slot. It's like, mm -hmm. it really gives you that chase factor. It's like, am I going to get a Bakion on the week? Yeah. Am I going to get a Super Rare? Man, that, that's pretty exciting. And I'm curious, like, for, so this is like, is this, is this like, okay, how do you know, like, in the other, like, card games, there's different sets that come out? For right oh, yeah. now, is this like just like the original set that just comes out? And is there plans for like future expansions right. into this other? We'll have three expansions per year. Three expansions per year. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is expansion one. So this is Battle Brawlers. <coughs> okay. So this the, the set name will change for expansion. Okay. Cool. So it'll be refreshed three times a year. Okay. So the biggest, this big, uh, excuse me, the biggest expansion for the year will be the initial first set of the year. Mm -hmm. Subsequent expansions will be smaller blocks. Okay. But we'll have new mechanics, new possible card types coming out as each set cool. okay. is released. Each set has their own theme. Okay. Is there going to be any like for each set? Are they going to have approximately the same amount of like elite cards with it to collect, or is there going to be like sometimes you throw in like? There's like, you know, I guess Pokemon will do it, they'll throw in like a gold card or something like that in each set. Do you have plans for doing anything like that? For the most part, just sticking to the, uh, elite. I think Bakugan Elite is, again, it's the highest it's variety very, right now. Okay. So that's super difficult to get, but okay. I think as this game develops, there's that definitely not possibility okay. exactly. The, yeah. Right. And is it very difficult or very, very difficult to get the Elites? So, none of the shelf. And dude, you're actually dude, 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 what? <laughs> Why can't you get my name right? Oh, oh, oh. Tillman, oh, oh. Evan. People. Are so just for my fans out there, yeah. um, would you mind just saying who you are? Yeah. Hi, I'm Michael Lee, uh, project designer on Bakugan. So he's the actual like designer. So a lot of these things in here, like everything you see, he's behind it, which is crazy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Nice. Okay, guys, about to like leave this room and such, but like some last things to show. Like, <laughs> obviously, Dragonoid. Then we got Nilius over here. That's the name of this Bakugan. Looks so cool. Um, and then this. So, like, everybody that's here literally got like their own like card version. So, like, Ethan, Simo, Hard Collector, Paul, Alex, <clears throat> Negative Legend, uh, Leo. You see Jake right there, obviously, Ellen Nook. Uh, Billiam, Alec, uh, Marmar, and of course, your boy. <laughs> your boy. They got my details so good, dude. They got a tattoo on my arm, and they got my chain. It's so wild, dude. Even like kind of how my gear is, like like the shirt I wear, and my purple bandana. I think they saw that video. Like they saw one of the videos where I was wearing a purple bandana. That's crazy, dude. This is a dream come true. This is wild. So it like it ties in more with how the balls look. So like you know, Mikey took you through like kind of that one sequence. I want to get this on camera. Really quick. Jake getting the footage for his bit. <laughs> All right. So yeah, you saw you saw the design sequence that Mikey talked to you guys through, where they have that initial sketch and then the works like. So with with the way they're built, you know, um, when they're when they're coming out of the ball form, they are kind of they have more of a mechanical style to them. So it really matches up a little better with the entertainment. Um, so again, that goes back to making sure that what they see on shelf is what they see on show, um, and there's that that much tighter grip between. Halcor as a toy and Halcor as a character in the entertainment. And also like Dragonoid, for example, like it's shown like he has all like the chest pieces. Yeah. And in, in, in the original, it was more like it sort of had that effect, but it was more kind of streamlined. Yeah, it was a little more organic. Like so, like would you, would you say that was because like just a design choice, or mainly because of like animation restraints? Because I saw that being thrown around because oh, way that back was then. Um, yeah. I mean, this the reason this this aesthetic was decided on was really just a design choice. Um, okay. Our partners, you know, TMS, like they just felt that'd be a cooler look, mm -hmm. um, and tie into the balls a lot, a lot better. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Cool, man. Yeah.
Drago, dude. I spy with my little eye. I spy, I spy with my little eye. Some graffiti. And that's a Psyduck. Psyduck. How, how did I just do that, boys? Psy, Psyduck. I don't even know, but we me on a party bus, I think. Yeah, party bus. It's hype. It's hype. Look at this man. A, a, a wild Jake has appeared. <laughs> The premiere. I don't know if you Watching the close. premiere. Yeah. On episode one. Can't can't record or anything. So that's why I'm doing selfie. You're the shorter guy, so yeah. I'm just making sure but, you can see, okay? Yeah. So obviously after this part, um, I wasn't able to like record the episode or anything, you know, it was a sneak peek exclusive. We couldn't like show it or anything, obviously, because like copyright and stuff, uh, because you know they have the connection with Cartoon Network and such. But yeah, um just know if you haven't seen the first episode of Bakugan Battle Plan, it actually went out like uh the 23rd, which is actually, like, the day after, well, you know, it's the day after, like, it aired. It aired at 7 o'clock on the 23rd. Um, if you haven't seen it, go and check it out, definitely. I think they might have it on their their website. If not, somebody's got it, you know. But, yeah, um, it's a really good episode. I really like the show so far. Like, in my opinion, I really, really like it a lot. Um, I love what they're doing with the whole build of the story and stuff. I don't know if I can explain the story or anything, because I know the first episode did go out, but I don't know if I can actually, like, talk about it right now. I think so, because people are doing reviews, but yeah, just the, the story of, like, 12 years, you know, the, the event happening 12 years ago. The, you know, the Great Collision and such, but yeah, I really like the plot so far, um, and I can't wait to see how the rest of the series is gonna go. But yeah, I'm gonna let you guys see the rest of this footage right now. We're off the bus, and we're back at this hotel. I still can't believe we're at. Holy crap. I got this whole deck of cards that I have to sort through. There's a little tournament going on tomorrow, and uh, I'll, try to, I'll try to get as much footage of it as I can. Probably not the whole thing, but at least some of it. Um, but I got so many cards to go through, dude. I pulled this bad boy, which is crazy rare. So, Bakugan Elite, it'll say it at the bottom, B-E, oh, oh, Maximus Hydorus Ultra. What is this one? Like, that's, that's wild. <laughs> that's, that's nuts. Yeah, I don't know much about the game right now. Right. Okay, so, I don't know right now. I just got Negative Legends, got Jake, a bunch of people. And I'm recording this so you guys can get a little bit of closure because I know a lot of people are wondering about this. So, um, this is an interesting thing. So, for the first game when it came out, I know they had the exclusive, like, uh, the, the DS game that came with the Naga. Why did you decide to put the Naga in it instead of um, Omega Leonidas? Or Leonidas in it? very first game? Yeah. Oh, I can't answer that, man. You can't? I don't, I don't know. Really? Yeah, sorry, sorry. Really? Yeah. Because I know a lot of people wonder about, like, Leonidas and Omega Leonidas, why they weren't actually made in that. And I don't mean Bakugan. I can't answer that because it's confidential. I mean, right. I don't know. Right. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, 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 I have any questions about this generation of Bakugan. Right. I'll be able to answer them later. I tried, guys. Yes. I tried. You can't say I didn't try. <laughs> So, um, not there. Dang it. All right, guys. So, yeah, that's basically everything for the second day. It was absolutely crazy, dude. Like, going into Spin Master headquarters, seeing the products themselves. Um, also, uh, I guess I could fill in, like, a few of the small little details that people might not know. Um, yeah, after we actually got to go in, I got to ask, like, a lot of questions at the you know, at the press conference, like, a lot of people ask, like, quite a few questions about things, um, you know, I actually, yeah, at the conference, I didn't actually ask any questions then, but, like, after the premiere of the show, I, I asked, like, a couple of questions and such, obviously, one of them being, like, about a movie, a possible movie, so, you know, uh, you know how series do, like, side movies, like, you know, a Pokemon does one for, like, a mythical Pokemon, or, like, how Beyblade did it, like, the Soul Blaze movie, if they do that for Bakugan. And they said they, like, think about it. Uh, definitely. He said he'd love to do a Bakugan movie. And I would love to see that, too, dude. Because imagine exclusive Bakugan with the movie itself and then it coming with a special card and stuff. That would be sick. And it adds, like, the game. That that would be awesome. I'd love for that to happen, dude. And especially, uh, especially if they put out, like, a game. Like, you know, people asked about a video game and such. Maybe that might happen. Um... And then like, releasing an exclusive Bakugan and like some maybe some Baku cores and like some cards with that. But yeah, dude, um, <laughs> lots of questions were asked at this thing. Um, it was absolutely 
insane, dude. It was really, really crazy. Managed to pick out even some voices. So it's like, even some of the characters in the series have, like, characters from, like, Beyblade. Like, you know, like, at least Jake and I were talking about it, and we were able to, like, pick a few of them out. Um, Drago's the same, obviously, but, like, uh, like, maybe I having the same voice as, like, Johannes. Uh, yeah, Johannes from, uh, Metal Fury. But, yeah, this sounds really similar. But, yeah, anyways, guys, it was a really really awesome day like it was absolutely nuts after we actually got out of that room um jake and i got to go on the tour with tillman himself we went into like deep part of spin master showed us a lot of like the things that spin master do like does which is really cool couldn't record any of it but it was just crazy seeing that they even have like products from like the old series of bakugan they just tear things open every now and then it's just so crazy um <laughs> all their cubicles have like a bunch of figures and stuff it's just so it's it's so so cool dude it really really is um and i i still can't believe like they they let us see that like it was just so so crazy and then after that after like touring with tillman like tillman a little bit we went back in and then everybody was opening the products like that's when i got the uh the battle pack, you know, with the Pegatrix, the Chaos Howl Core, and the Pyrus Dragonoid. Um, and that's actually the one that I had used for the tournament. Everybody got one of those, and they got to use them, you know, for the tournament. Had to make a deck around them. Um, after the actual showing, we went back to the hotel. Did some card openings. I didn't, like, record any footage for it. Other people did, so you might see, like, unboxing. Like, you know, me, like, opening my cards or such, or showing some of my cards in other people's videos. But... Yeah, um, I was just focused on, like, doing the unboxing on the cards and such, you know. I know Negative Legends saved, like, some of his cards, and, like, a few other people got a lot of card packs, too, and just waited to open them, you know. But, yeah, um, it was, it was so, so cool, dude. And then, obviously, getting set up for the tournament. So, the next video you're going to see from this trip is, obviously, the tournament. It'll be the last one. But, yeah, dude, I managed to get a lot of footage. I say it was le at least, like, what, 100 minutes total of footage, which is crazy. Almost two hours of footage I managed to get of, like, all the days. And I'm just glad that my phone, you know, my SD card was big enough to fit all of that. As well as, like, all the unboxings I did and also the bait hunting. Like, I had a lot of footage, dude. I was putting out so much, <laughs> so, so much when I was out there. But, yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this part, part three. Get ready for part four because you're going to see the actual tournament. It was really intense. Um, you know, the Bakugan page themselves put up, like, a little bit of footage of it, and, like, they got a thumbnail of me, like, recording and just, like, being shocked behind my phone camera, but, yeah, um, you know, you'll see videos there, you'll see videos, obviously, I think a few other people will put out videos already, but you're gonna see the video, my video of the tournament, and it's gonna be awesome, dude, but, yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, be sure to slice that like button down below, let me know how I did, if you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for epic content, because I upload daily, more Bakugan content's gonna be coming for sure, I just have to wait till January 1st at this point because I put out all my unboxings. I did them all out in Cali. But once the products actually come out, I can find them on my shelves. You'll be seeing more videos for sure. Um, but yeah, if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe for epic content because I upload daily, especially now. I've been putting out a lot of work around this time of the year. I always do at the end of the year. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. I'm putting out a lot of content every single day, so you'll definitely want to ring that bell. But yeah, till next time, it is your boy, Kimbo, signing off. See you later. Thanks for watching. Till then, stay awesome. And Bakugan, bro! I'm up out of here.